there is a lot of not so great news that is out these days. You know, COVID cases are surging in India and in South America. The United States is struggling to achieve herd immunity. Benefa is back in the news. And now Bill and Melinda Gates are getting a divorce, which is devastating to me. I mean, they were married for 27 years. Like I found myself going, if the Gates can't make it work, then marriage is over, people. And what's interesting about this story is that Melinda was the one who filed for divorce. And I don't know the why, I don't know the how. All I do know is, if ever there was a thing that proved Bill Gates doesn't control minds, I mean, this is it. I don't know if you've noticed this, but every single one of us was shocked the same way. You know, like when Kim and Kanye happened, people were like, ah, you know, celebrities, Jeff Bezos and Mackenzie, people were like, I guess. But here, it was almost like these were our parents. Everyone was like, I can't believe it. I can't believe they're getting divorced. Like everyone. People in South Africa were texting me. People in America were texting me. I'm sure even malaria itself was like, wow. I mean, the way they were coming after me together, I thought those two would never end. Whew. And you know what I'm worried about now? Is first of all, whether they're gonna get their privacy and also how either of them is ever going to be able to date again. Because when you're worth that much money, it's hard to know if people are just using you for the money. Every single dinner that they go out on could suddenly turn into an episode of Shark Tank. Oh no, Melinda, I dropped my napkin. So it's a good thing I'm wearing one. Introducing napkin shirt. So look, man, I'll be honest. With all of this going on, I was in a bad mood when I woke up this morning. But then I remembered that no matter what else is going on in the world, there's always a bright side that you can turn to. So let's do that with another edition of A Ray of Sunshine. All right, let's kick things off with the coronavirus vaccine, the greatest scientific achievement since the development of that secret face cream that Paul Rudd uses to stay young. What is he using? And thankfully, soon even more Americans will be able to get their hands on this miracle vaccine. The FDA could expand COVID vaccines for 12 to 15 year olds as early as this week. Health experts say any day now, the agency is expected to authorize Pfizer's drug for that younger age group. The decision would allow middle school students and all high school students to get the shots. Pfizer says clinical trials showed the vaccine was, get this, 100% effective for 12 to 15 year olds that have that good immunity. If authorized, that age group may start receiving the Pfizer vaccine later this month. Wow, what great news. This is gonna be a huge step forward for kids who are sick of Zoom class and want to get back to being sick of actual class. And let's be honest, this can't come soon enough, man. I mean, it is so important for the young population to get re-engaged in society. And it's so important for my self-confidence to have five hours in the day when I'm not getting my ass handed to me by some nine-year-old on Warzone. Go to school, Jimmy, and stop camping me, you ass. But the important thing, is that this vaccine will allow teenagers to go back to doing normal teenager stuff again. You know, like going to school, seeing their friends, getting Venmoed by Matt Gates. you know, the teenager life. Our next Rear of Sunshine comes to us from the world of politics. Yesterday, President Biden took a break from looking for a White House cat for his dog Major to rip apart and went down to Georgia, where he and the First Lady met up with their oldest and most adorable predecessors. We wanna show you this photo from the Carter Center. This was the visit of President Biden uh, and Dr. Jill Biden with Jimmy and Rosalind Carter in Georgia last week. The former president is 96, the first lady 93. And Brianna, they're gonna celebrate their 75th wedding anniversary in July. That's amazing, 75 years. It's great to see this photo. <laughs> okay, guys, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm really happy to see these people all together and smiling and everything. It's just, what the f is going on in this photo? <laughs> 